Can we, so we talked about noses. Can we talk about eyes? Can you take the camera over there and get a shot of him? Here you. What's, what's your name? Uh, Brian. Brian? Where are you from? Um, I'm from Chicago. From Chicago? Yeah. Where's, what's your ancestry? Um, I'm Chinese. And were, you, were, your parent, were you born here or in China? Uh, I was born in China. In China? Yeah. Where in China? Dude, my mind just went blank. Oh, dude. Um, doesn't matter. <laughs> China. Somewhere you were born there. In, it's better to not know where you're born, my friend. You were hatched, just say you're hatched from an egg. All right, Brian. <laughs> here, just get right behind. Okay, so listen. Brian. Andrew, Raga, Chris. Andrew. Look at his eyes. This is a moment, right? We're going to look at Brian's eyes, and we're going to compare them to Raga's eyes. Or to, how about my eyes? We'll compare your eyes to my eyes, okay? So are, you, are we cool? Can we yeah. look at your eyes? Yeah. It's like, am I like, do you no. feel like I'm, you're an object if we no, just look at okay. your eyes? No, it's okay. It's okay. You're good? Yeah. So you, okay, class, you got that? He doesn't feel like an object, so you don't have to turn me into the office of hate for objectifying him, right? It's all good. So, Andrew, tell us about his eyes, man. What do, you, what, do you, what do you know about his eyes? Well, they're very dark. It's hard to tell the difference between his pupils and uh, the color of his eyes. Uh-huh. I feel like they're very similar, very brown. Yeah? Okay, what else? I mean, they're a little more squinted than yours. Dude, okay, awesome, man. Hang on, did you, did you catch what Andrew just said? First off, here, here, you can turn around for a second. Dude, Dude I'm going to back you up here. You, did, you, did you notice that he, the first thing he said about Brian's eyes was, is that they're dark? Okay, cool, easy. But I didn't choose Brian. I chose Brian for a reason. I didn't choose. I didn't, like, choose this. Dude, can you stand up really fast? He, this guy, turn around. He has dark eyes, too. But I didn't choose him. They're not really that dark. But go with me. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, but you, when you said the was, then you said, well, and you had that look, and I'm going to bail you out here, right? It's all, not bail you out, like, I'm going to support you. But he said, uh, okay, they're a little more squinted. Like, that's the thing. Why did you say, why were you reluctant to say that? Because if I said they're squinty, I'd get in trouble, and I would look down upon everyone and think I'm, like, racist or something. Racist for saying? Somebody has squinty eyes. Squinty. How, how do you? Okay, squinty eyes. Compared to his eyes, bro, how do you define your eyes compared to his eyes? Or my eyes? Um, I'd probably say the same thing. Mine's are, like, smaller, more squinty. <laughs> mm-hmm. How do you say it? Do you speak Mandarin? Yeah. How do you say it in Mandarin? How do you say squinty in Mandarin? Oh, I have no idea. Dude, normal. No, <laughs> I, you know what the word is? Normal eyes. You have normal eyes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because if we're, in, if we're in China, I'm the one that doesn't have normal. Like, Andrew and I are the ones that stand out. You see what I mean? Like, we're going to be around all sorts of people who look like you, and we're, we're going to stand out. Like, we're going to be the objects. Like, not the objects, but, you know, we're going to be the ones on the outside of the average normal curve. You're right now on the outside of the average normal curve just because we're here at Penn State. But, you know, if we're in Beijing, then it's very different, right? Okay, so what's the politically correct word to use? What's the, next squinty, like what's the? Uh, I, I thought it was slanted, but I could be wrong. Never mind. What's that? I thought it was slanted, but. Slanted? Know. Yeah? Is that what? Wait, no. No, I don't know, dude. Hey, don't, don't be know. racist, my friend. <laughs> Don't say any racist shit about Chinese people. So, like, what do you think it would be? I, I, don't, I don't know then. I thought it was that. I don't, I don't know then. All right. Okay. See? Hey, white people, did you notice? The black guy doesn't know either. So it's okay for you not to know. Are we good with that? Like, like it's just like... <laughs> That's effing funny, isn't it? Raga. You shouldn't know. I don't know why you would know, by the way. I don't really know either. I smaller? Like I don't You don't know either? Yeah. Okay, you said in English you said squint you said squinty kinda? Squintier like smaller. Okay. Dude, are you comfortable up here? You're good, right? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. All right. Wait, hang on. Can you can you take him a chair? Bro, you had an answer? Yes. All right. Uh I was gonna say slender. 
slender. All right. All right. You can, yeah, just have a seat, bro. Does anyone, what's the politically correct word for Brian's? All right, here we go. I'd say his eyes are narrower than mine. Narrower. Okay. Is that what you were going to say? What are you going to say? Uh, I was going to say epithelial fold. So what's that? Epithelial fold. Yeah, the epic, epic, the epicanthic, he has an epicanthic fold. Were you going to say that? What were you going to say? They're more almond-like or, and or like more, monolids. More almond-like. Okay. All right. Got it. Dude, Brian, you got that? More almond-like. Do you know what an epicanthic eye fold is? Do you know what the epicanthic eye fold is? Uh, no. Dude, of course you don't. Because like, you know, this would be the, do you guys know what it is? Do you know what it is? I think it's just like from like a makeup perspective. I know like they don't have a fold so they don't have to like, they don't have like a creased eye. I yeah. Guess. Isn't that what it is? No, so here, no. Like, it's, there's no, like, it doesn't fold up into the crease. That's what Yeah, I'm okay, e yes and right. no. All right, bro, so now, listen, man, now I got to, like, now we got to do, now we got to, you're going to, your eye, not you, my friend, not you, but your eye is going to be an object for a second. Are we cool with that? Yeah. Dude, it's going to be so much of an object that I might actually use my pen to point something out. So, look. So there's a fold in the eye. This is actually really, are there any people of African, Central African ancestry, South Central African in here that have an epicanthic eye fold also? Anybody? Because it's really common in Africa. It's not just among, in parts of Asia. It's also not all over Asia, by the way. It's just only in parts of Asia. Are there any Africans in here that have an eye fold? I'm sure there are. If I looked around, I would find somebody. It's not so pronounced in West Africans. So there are a lot of West Africans in here. It's not so pronounced. But when we go into Central Africa and South Central Africa, but listen, there's a full, man, oh, damn, this is really hard. Can you get a better close-up? Can you get, like, closer? All right, there we go. Hang on. Let it get it. Okay. So right, dude, we good right here? Yeah. You're not an object, right? Got it? He's not an object. Don't report me to the Office of Hate, okay? So right here, close your eyes and I'll do it. Right in this inside part, there's a, little, there's a little fold right there that just flaps down. It just, it's just a little tiny flap. And it just, in his eye, and now can you see my eye? Right? Right in this part of my eye. I don't have that flap right in there. And what that means is that his, it just pulls his eyelid down a little bit. Just a little bit. Not very much, right? But just a little bit. And what, it, and what that means is then his, his eye is a little more almond-shaped than my eye. But our eyes are exactly the same. Like, the, like if you look at our skulls, the eye socket, our eye sockets are the same. It looks the same. It's shaped the same. Everything is the same. But it's just that little fold right there and the little fold in me. It's awesome. Okay, man. Have, have a seat in a second. All right, Chris. Now you're gonna, we're going to see if you can redeem yourself. Do you know why he has an epicanthic eye fold? Wait, like he, why? Yeah. Why would he? Why would he have? Why would some people have that? Andrew, do you know? Does it have something to do with like humidity? No, nah, I don't think so. Right? Do you have an idea? You're the one with all the answers, Raga. You gotta have. I don't this one. have the answers to this. You don't have it. Do no. you know what? You don't know why, right? Okay. So listen. So, um, so there are a couple. The original thinking about this is that. A lot of people hypothesized for a long time that people in like re really windy, arid regions had this fold, you know, because people didn't have eye protection, right? For, for you know, 100,000 years of people without eye protection. And so therefore, you got to figure out how to protect the eyes. And so the, the narrower the opening in the eye, the more protection you're going to have. It's like having glasses, you know what I mean? But that, people started to really wonder whether that was true. And it may have happened in a particular population of people that that was true, and then that population really expanded, and then that fold get, was selected for evolutionarily for, in lots of subpopulations of people, and then it suddenly it became really dominant. And then people started to question whether that was true, like maybe it's just like there was a, it's a genetic mutation that just kind of happened, and then it just became really dominant, meaning just an accidental mutation, like we don't really know. And then it, it could be something that people selected for on the basis of attractiveness, that, that, you know, people thought certain, that I and some people was really attractive. And then they, okay, there it is. But, so we don't fully know, but we have certain hypotheses for a lot of this stuff. It's cool, right? Dude, awesome, man.
Any questions? Do you have, do any of you have a qu- question for Brian? Raga does. I mean, like, I had a lot of Asian friends growing up. Like, obviously, I'm Asian. I meant, like, East Asian. Um, and they always felt like they were, like, like, people would comment on it. And, like, it wasn't something they liked about themselves. So I was just wondering, like, how you felt about it. Oh, my God. That is such a cool question. Bro, here it is. How do you feel about your eyes? Yeah, um, some people, like, say it to me, like, as a joke, like, just for fun. Like, I know they're joking, so I don't really mind. But for the most part, like, I don't really care. Like, it's whatever. <laughs> Wait, what's the joke, though? Like, what? I'm not understanding. What would, ex- what would be an example of a joke? <laughs> like, uh, tiny eyes. Like, tiny eyes? Yeah. Who says that? My girlfriend. <laughs> okay, dude. okay, but that's your girlfriend. So your girlfriend can call you a lot of things, right? What's the, but like, what, what's the joke, though? I'm not, I'm not understanding. Because, like, I don't, here, can I just say something to the class and then I want You may or may not believe this, but I look at each human being as its own unique bodies like i don't have standards for beauty at all like i don't look at someone and be like oh that person's really attractive you will never hear me say never my whole life i've not said this i've not looked at certain people and been like oh that person's really pretty or that person's really handsome or that for whatever like i don't see that i don't have preferences i don't have i just don't i don't notice it it doesn't it it's like it doesn't i all i see are souls souls right spirits inside of bodies and the bodies are just these awesome vessels that that you know mostly move around are ambulatory and are just awesome you know what i mean it's like fuck so i don't when someone makes a joke like that i don't know what the joke could possibly be about your eyes so what would the joke be about like what would people say i mean there really isn't like a joke it's just like they just tiny eyes or something (laughs) or they call you just that they just reference your eyes. Yeah. Okay. All right. And so here's the other thing about that, right? When you are, when, when you are the min- minority among, in, a, in a population of people, like when, when, I, when I'm in Haiti, for example, right? And I'm with my friends in Haiti. And, and I'm like, I am the only, I've been, I've, one time I spent about 10 days in Haiti and I'm telling you, I did not see another single white person in 10 days. Like, you just like, I am the blanc. I am the white guy. And like, when you experience, have those experiences, you start to realize that this isn't, pointing things out about people just doesn't make any sense because you, because you understand the nature of being minoritized or being that person who really stands out in a certain situation and um so yeah i don't even get the jokes i don't even know why you would pick certain things out like that i don't get it but in any case dude all right good for you thanks for participating dude